Peace, truth to God family. I'm your brother C-Rock Smooth. Today I'm going to be conducting interviews with all the brothers and sisters. I hope you enjoy them. So, um, thanks for coming. Uh, tell me how the truth of God affected your life. Well, I, w I found Pastor Jennings on the internet and um, I'm so thankful that I found him because I was in a downward spiral. Mm. Um, I'm just so overwhelmed because my life has changed so, so much. Um, my husband actually introduced um, the videos to me and before I was looking for God and I just didn't know how to find him. So um, wh after watching the videos, my understanding started to come open, and I'm so thankful because I had stopped watching for a while. But I'm thankful to God that he allowed me a chance to come back and humble myself to his way. Wonderful. And, um, yeah, that's it. Do you remember what message it was that you watched that helped um, change you? The video where he did an interview with a radio station, I don't know the name. I forget the with the, the lady with the big mm -hmm. afro, mm -hmm. the crazy one. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, everyone saw that. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, awesome, awesome. Thank you for the interview. Yep, thank you. Peace. All right, peace, sister. Um, peace, what's your name and where are you from? I am Sarah Rivera from Jacksonville, Florida, and I go to the Orlando and Tallahassee Temple. Wonderful. Um, let the people know what the truth of God has done uh, to change your life since you started watching. Uh, since I've started watching the truth of God and congregating with the church, I came out amongst homosexuality. I was married to a woman for seven years. Wonderful. God delivered me. It's a spirit. And I'm happy about the church because I would be back in that life if it wasn't for the church. Wow. So how long did it take for the message to deliver you from homosexuality? Well, actually... I started watching the message in 2018. I was delivered around October. Uh, and then I got serious coming to church last year. So I was in and out. And then I said, I need to be determined. Beautiful. All right, well, thank you thank for sharing you. your testimony. Yes, sir. All right, brother, what's your name and where you from? My name is Michael Williams from Union, New Jersey. Wonderful, Michael Williams. Uh, what, what has the truth of God done for you since you've been watching the message? The truth of God has done a lot for me. I first followed and started with the truth of God five years ago. And growing up, I grew up as a Baptist. Mm -hmm. Once I reached close to the age of 18, I started following the Muslim religion. Oh, Lord. And then from there, I followed over a dozen different pastors, churches, and no stable church home. Right. Until one day, me and my wife, we were sitting in the house on a Sunday. And we just happened to hit the internet, and Pastor Gino came on. Wonderful. And I said, who is this? You know, the way he was speaking and teaching, it just caught us. And it got to the point where I was listening every Sunday. And then it was to the point I was listening two, three days a week. Right. And then just in January of 19, 2019, we came to the church in PA. Okay. And we were baptized. Wonderful. And I did repent of my sins. And I've learned a lot from the church okay. and from the pastor. A lot of things that were in the Bible I didn't know. Like what? Well, I wasn't explained really who Jesus was. I always believed it was one God, right. but I wasn't sure how Jesus came to be. Oh, you didn't know the explanation. Right. It was never explained to me. And then it was various other things as far as how we were supposed to conduct ourselves. Right. And uh, females, how females conduct themselves. Yeah. And the thing with female preachers, pastors. Right. And I even listened to a female pastor at one time. And when I questioned her, she got very upset. Yeah, they all, they all get upset. Yes. Because yes. it's not biblical or scriptural at all. Right. But I feel I learned a lot from this church. I'm going into our fifth year. Right. And I'm glad the church accepted us. And I'm glad that 
I appreciate the fact that God allowed me to wake up each day yeah. and come to the church and learn from the scriptures. Wonderful. Really learn. Well, thank you, brother, for your testimony. I appreciate it. And I thank you. All right. All right. Thank you for coming. Uh, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Myrdell Samuels. I'm from Miramar, Florida. Wonderful. Tell me, um, from your testimony, what has the truth of God done for you personally since you started watching? Um, it has bring a lot of changes in my life because the church I go to was an apostolic church. Mm. So coming from Jamaica, knowing about holiness, and then come here, and then the church you go to is telling you that you don't have to wear a hat, you don't have to wear dress skirts, you can wear pants, you can wear jewelry, you can remarry. I'm like, okay, so things change. So I adapt the changes because right. I don't know better. Because being in holiness, I was at a young age. Right. So I get out of holiness, like leave and then get married and have children and stop going to church about the age 21. Right. So then I just adapt whatever they say. I just go with the flow. So then I heard somebody talk about Gino, but I'm like, I don't want to go back and on TV watching nobody else because everyone I watch, they're the same like where I'm coming from, what I'm used to, so Prosperity. what's the difference? Prosperity why would I, yeah, yeah, why would I listen to them? But the lady keep telling me about Gino, Gino, I'm saying, okay, I didn't listen to him. So going through YouTube looking for like T.D. Jake, Noel, those, you know, because yeah, I love listening usual. to them. The yes, dirty does it. Back then, yes. So then when I saw Gino, I'm like, what if this is the Gino she's talking about? The last name is Jennings, but I don't know the last name. So I click on it, and then I'm like, what? I started crying. I cr really? I said, Cry. the first oh, time you watched oh, the message? Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know there was someone else out there. Like, there's somebody that God have put the boldness, right. the courage. The, I mean, I was like, do you oh, remember? no, this can never be. Do you remember what message that was? or what He was, he was, what? Preaching, he was preaching different things, but he, he was, was preaching about holiness about without holiness no man shall see god that's right and he was talking about the highway of holiness and he was talking about the dress code one way and the hat the covering he was explaining about the covering and um i said wow yeah there is still holiness still exists it I'm still like, exists oh my god so every time like my kids they make, make it a joke they say i could be the deepest sleep i hear gina say um, am I right? And they said, there you go, you just jump up. They said, Mommy, why the TV have to be on G? Everything is just Gina, Gina, Gina. I said, wait, don't change my TV station. Well, so I've been like message after message after message, yes. still crying because I know what I'm in. So healing. I'm still crying That's because healing. I didn't know there was someone out there that God have called and ordained with such a boldness. Yeah. Because in our church, we learn to accept woman, man acting like female yeah. because they said that man could live with his mom and then he could have act that feminine way. Yeah, that's so now the devil. it doesn't preach in the church. We, no. act, we have to accept it as like just being a brother or a sister, just that's that, brainwashing. That's and being married like three, two times, you could divorce, you could marry to the wrong person. Right. So now you met the right person, you can divorce or remarry. Oh no. And the church would do it. Oh, so yeah, they'll then do it. I was puzzling with that part because I've been separated for 26 years. And they say, you young, you can get married again. And I'm like puzzled with it. I'm reading the Bible, but no understanding. Your first and husband church still alive? Preach it. So then, yes, he's still alive. Yeah. Yes. Two kids You're in the He's still married. bound, yes. yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> no, they said, oh, you could divorce him, which I didn't. So no, here come apostle. Oh, my God. Preaching about divorce and remarried? Yeah. I said, oh, Jesus, look at this. A lot of I people don't know. If something. they don't separate that second marriage while their first spouse yeah, is alive, wrong. you'll die and go to hell. Yeah, you got to get is. out of that before I didn't God know that. comes to judge. Yeah. So no, you think I would be happy for this gospel? Oh, this yeah. This preaching? Oh, yeah, same oh, a lot of Oh, my us. God. It is like yeah. addict. It, com it become. I am addicted to the message. It is. I'm going to be honest. Even the enemies of the truth of God I'm addicted to are it. addicted. I mean, if, every, if you come to my house, you turn it and you laugh. Yeah. One after one after that, all you see is you, like, you down the bottom. Yeah. And I see a lot of people doing it now. First, I only know about Tony Javier and you. Yes. But now I see a whole bunch, but I don't go to them. Yeah. Because they have advertisement between, or they just put, they try to put the, some things out there that, I mean, why you have to pick certain things out of it? So what I do, I just go on Sunday when he come on at one, 
-hmm. If you don't come on, I just look for all message. Right. Because we don't have a temple there like right. other people. There's a service there once every month, but it's far away from us. Okay. So what I'm praying for is for him to have a temple. I'm personally, me, I'm willing to help. What, uh, what temple, area are you in? I'm in Miramar. All right, he's going to watch In the Boward County in, in Florida. Okay. So if he had a temple, I'm willing to give one donation and help, like go to the building. Yes. But the work I can do, I'll do it. That's we, I just wanted a temple okay. there in Florida. So whatever it is, All I'll right. do it. All right. Thank you so much for your testimony. God bless. Thank, Thank you.